Hi guys, in this video I'm trying out Winsor & Newton drawing inks. I got these for Christmas and I haven't had the chance yet to try them out, so I wanted to use them for the first time in a video. As I've never tried inks like these ones before, I wanted to practice with them first. So I started off by doing a couple of flower doodles to colour in before I moved into doing a more finalised piece. I played around with different ways to apply the ink. I used a wet brush, water in the ink and a dry brush to see how it worked best for me and how I could change the vibrancy of the colours. If anyone's wondering, I am using the William Collection pack of Winsor & Newton inks. Um, they come in a pack of eight different inks um, and I think there's two different collections you can buy and then you can also buy the individual colours as well. For my first illustration, I wanted to create quite an interesting background, so I decided to use some watercolour paper and I used washi tape to kind of make a border so my um, so the ink wouldn't go outside and would create a nice sharp edge. I decided to start off by drawing a penguin. As I always do, I'm using an erasable colour pencil to draw the sketch. I'm using this palette as it's great to hold the ink and mix them. I decided to use pipettes to move the colour into the palette so I wasn't putting a dirty brush back into the inks and ruining the entire bottle for any future use. It's also easier to mix the colours this way too. You just need to make sure you have a different pipette for every colour you use. I think watercolour paper might have not been the best paper to use with inks. Um, I found it kind of started to lump up a bit. The paper didn't peel but the inks would kind of it would, it would just make bumps, you can, you can see how it is in the video. Um, I don't know why it did this, um, and it only really seemed to happen with the grey, so maybe I used too much water because it wasn't grey, it was black I'd used and I had heavily watered it down. Um, but it wasn't too bad, I think I should have just used a lot less water, and now I know this for the future. I did find it great though for colouring very small details and I think it was really good for adding in extra things like the eyes and the cheeks and even the outline. As you can see here I decided to put water on the entirety of the background behind the penguin and then I used my pipettes to drop some ink right into the, um, the background into the white space and this created a really nice tie-dye effect. As you can see here, I should have waited a little bit longer for the penguin to dry as it did kind of spread a little bit um, into his head. But other than that, I'm actually really happy with how the effect did come out. I also used white acrylic paint to add in some more details as well. So as you can see with this one, my original um, image did go wrong, so I just painted it over black um, because I wasn't happy with it. But that's what these experiments are for, is to make sure that I don't make mistakes like that one. What I did was I um, coloured in a part of the image and I didn't wait for it to dry. So then when I applied the next lot of ink, it then, the original ink then bled over onto the stuff I'd just covered. So with the second one, I was a lot more careful and I was so happy with how this one came out. And I really like the grey and I think it came out really well. For this last illustration, I mixed some of the inks together to make this pink colour. And I decided that I was going to use all of it to colour the picture and then use a black outline. This is because I wanted to experiment with how I could make varying tones with one colour. I definitely think I need to experiment around with more paper, so if there's any paper you can suggest to use with drawing inks, please let me know. Um, I'm currently using just a normal, typical mixed sketchbook, um, and it's alright. I wouldn't say it's the best for ink, but it definitely does work, and I think it's a lot better than the watercolour paper I was using earlier. But I think there's definitely something out there which would be a lot more suitable for me to use. If you have any more tips and tricks on how I can use Windsor, Windsor & Newton drawing inks, please let me know in the comments below, because I'll really appreciate it, as I definitely want to learn how to use these a bit more. Um, 
because I think it's a really good, exciting medium to use. I just definitely need some more practice with them. I did cheat and use a fine liner pencil to go over her eyes and her nose, but that was just because I do find it quite hard um, at the moment as I'm not practiced well enough with ink to be able to do a good job of doing really small details like that. Then I pulled off the washi tape and um, I did forget to colour in the outline of this flower, but I finished it off um, and I used some acrylic, white acrylic paint to add in some more details like I did for the penguins. So here's the final illustration. Thank you so much for watching, please hit that subscribe button and the bell to know when I next upload and thanks for watching, bye!